My name is Eric White. I'm the technical evangelist for OpenXML. In, and uh, today we're going to talk about the OpenXML SDK. And to do that, I'm going to introduce my colleague Ziad, who is one of the PMs in the Office team. Thanks, Eric. Uh, my name is Ziad Rajabi, and I'm a program manager on the Office team. And I've been working very closely on the OpenXML SDK. And in fact, actually, uh, we are going to announce the next version of the SDK, the April 2008 CTP, which is going to be coming up very soon, uh, actually next month, <laughs> that will be able to allow developers to open, edit, and manipulate OpenXML file formats. Great. Why don't you uh, give us and give the viewers a little bit of uh, an introduction into what the SDK can be used for? Sure. Yeah, that sounds very good. So what the SDK is going to be able to do is it's going to allow developers out there to open up the, the uh, OpenXML formats. So as you know, OpenXML are package-based formats, zip-based package formats, that, have, that contain multiple XML parts within them that are, that are related through the concept of relationships. What the SDK is going to provide is it's going to allow strongly typed access to those particular parts and that allows them to manipulate them. So imagine this scenario where you have a document that has a bunch of comments and you want to be able to grab all the comments associated with the document. Through the SDK you will be able to open up the package, grab the comments part, and, and stream out all the XML as necessary. Great. Um, can you give us also an idea of what are the new features that are coming along in the SDK? Sure, yeah. So we're going to be releasing this new CTP uh, next month and what that is going to provide is going to provide better compatibility with other XML technologies that we provide in .NET, such as linked XML. So that we're going to have the ability to add annotations to different parts. We're also going to allow the ability to add particular IDs to add newly created parts within the package itself. Okay. Um, maybe you'd like to just show us a little bit of uh, code that shows the XML, the, the use of OpenXML without the SDK and then how much easier it is with the SDK? I can definitely show that. I think there's a big difference between using what is currently available through the system.io packaging versus the SDK. And I'm going to show you right now the, uh, the differences in that through a little demonstration. For my first demonstration, I'm going to show you the differences between the OpenXML SDK versus the .NET system.io packaging. So in this example here, I have a program that's just using the system.io packaging. And essentially the scenario here is I have a document, doc, test.docx in this case, and what I want to do is I want to grab the styles part and, and get the XML out of that. So the way to do that with the system.io packaging is to first figure out all the relationships necessary. So in this case, you need the document relationship to the main document, you also need the styles relationship to the styles part. And then what you do is you open up the package using the standard system.io packaging, grab the relationships, figure out where the relationship is for the styles. So in this particular case, that's what you're doing right here, grabbing, this, grabbing the relationship, loading the appropriate XML uh, from the relationship to figure out all the different, uh, to figure out the styles part. And then once you grab the styles part, grab the XML in any appropriate manner as necessary. That's a lot of steps to do just to grab the styles part. With the SDK, a lot of code is, is very much simplified. So the way to do that now, the SDK provides strongly typed access to the different parts. So in this case, you have a strongly typed access to the word processing document part. And then once you have the word processing document, you can grab the main part and from the main part you can grab the styles definitions part and then from there you can easily stream the XML as appropriate to any XML uh, reader that you want. In this case I have X document. And that's simply the big difference between using the SDK versus the, the uh, packaging API. And you can notice right away that there's a huge reduction in code. That's the first demonstration. Now I'm going to show you the second demonstration which is imagine this scenario where I'm a company and I have a document that contains is actually a template and in this template it contains a bunch of contract controls that are bound to custom XML data. So in this particular case let's say I have a contract of sale. I'm going to open this document to show you the document. So the document here is just a simple contract and it contains a whole bunch of contract controls that are not bound to anything at this point but it's actually it's going to be bound to custom XML. And what I want to do programmatically is 
crack open the package and grab the custom XML from whatever source I have and inject it into the document. So my program is very, very simple and it's using the SDK here. What it simply does is it's going to grab my document from my desktop or from my, from my, uh, my D drive here and it's going to grab data1.xml and data1.xml is simply just a, an XML file which is going to populate the custom XML within that within the document. So in this particular case, it's going to it's going to populate the date it was executed, the seller, and and so forth. And what the program is going to do is open up the Word document, grab the main part of the document. It's going to delete the existing custom XML part and then inject the new custom XML part by streaming the data one XML file and and putting that into the custom XML. So I'm just going to run this program and if I go back to that same exact file that I had before and open it up, you're going to see right away that all my all my content controls are actually now populated with the data that was contained in the in the, uh, in, the in the data in my data file. And that's is simply doing uh, custom XML data binding with the OpenXML SDK. For my next demonstration, what I'm going to show is how to create a new OpenXML word processing document using the OpenXML SDK. Again, I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2008, and you can easily use Visual Studio Express to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new doc.docx here, and what essentially that's going to need, it's going to need a new word processing document that it's going to contain a main document part. So at this particular point, I'm going to add a main document part, and then I'm going to populate that main part with with uh, Hello World content. So at this particular case here, I'm using uh, I'm just going to have a simple Hello World. And in this particular case, here's my body, and it's going to have a paragraph and a run, and the run of text is going to be Hello World. And then I'm going to stream that into the XML file of the main document part. And then hopefully we'll just create a new a new document here. So I'll just go ahead and run this and go to the folder where it created it. And here's the new doc dot docx. And when I open this with this document, it's going to just contain the contents that I just added called Hello World. And there you have it. You have a new word uh, word processing document. Okay, Zaid. So that all looks very cool. And when can developers get their hands on this? That's a great question, Eric. So what we're going to actually be releasing this publicly uh, next month, April, the end of April. Developers will be able to get their hand on the April, two, uh, April 2008 CTP. And in actuality, we're going to be releasing the final version of the SDK version 1 the next month after. So that's going to be in May 2008. We're going to finally release uh, that CTP, or the final version of that. And we are going to be working on version 2. Uh, and hopefully get you guys a CTP at, by the end of the summer for that and that will get you access to manipulating uh, the XML contained inside word processing documents. Uh, well, at this particular point, developers can get their hands on this stuff on MSDN and the website URL there is msdn.microsoft.com slash office slash XML and you'll get the latest information there. Similarly, you can also get information on openxmldeveloper.org and you'll get the latest news and roadmap for the SDK.